Hey, Brian from Garage Room Hall. Uh, today I had this cool nugget ice maker, and I've actually been looking to get one of these for the studio. And I got some uh, like counter space over here in the arcade area to basically uh, to add this. And uh, one thing I don't have out here, I have like a refrigerator and stuff, but I don't have an ice maker. So I think this is going to definitely fit the bill for what we need. So let me get this positioned under the other camera angle so everybody can kind of see what we get inside. So basically right away you get your user manual, which uh, obviously make sure you read through this. It's got a lot of cool features and stuff on it. Uh, this is your electric cord. And I'm going to put this down on its side. And if the box looks a little beat up, it's not. It just uh, it had like it had a ton of like address labels on it. You know, it's like the weirdest thing. But anyway, so I'm taking these four little corners off um, the top section. Basically, that's what the uh, the styrofoam was kind of like encased in. So I'm going to try to gently turn this guy upside down so I can get the box off it nice and safe. And again, it's on the outside of the label. It shows that it is it's 44 pounds, so it's not super light. I mean, it's manageable if you, you if you are careful and you're taking your time, uh, which is like the most important thing about safety anyway. So let's flip this back, back upright. Got my finger stuck underneath that. Okay. So that's what the front of this looks like. We're gonna tilt this on the side, and it's very well protected in styrofoam. It's packed very well. It's pretty awesome. Have some shrink wrap here. And then we are taking the plastic off it. And it basically has some tape around the electrical cord that I'm probably going to be wrestling with. Oh, okay, there we go. Not so much wrestling with. Then you have your power cord. So you have that into a little little tie down. So we're gonna open this up. Alright, so there is a lot to this little guy. So it has this little protective blue plastic on the outside of it. Kind of like protect your stainless steel so it doesn't get all so that's a little bit of a a little bit of a process in itself, but I'm actually really glad to have that. I don't know how many little small little appliances I've gotten over the years, and it didn't have that little film, and it stainless steel gets all and it's noisy. I apologize. All right, you got that off. So, as you can tell, it has a fan on one side, and then on the other side, it has like the the vents. Uh, all the way around around this so make sure that you're not putting it like right up against the wall uh, make sure that it has proper air circulation on the sides um, you probably just need a couple inches is all they need to get get that going so this is your ice dispenser up here so that opens up it's got some tape in there and if you were like me you probably want to like rinse everything out just to kind of make sure that it's nice and clean and sanitary. So that is your ice basket. And it comes with this cute little uh, cute little ice shovel. So that's pretty neat. So that's just like that. Give you kind of like the better top view since it's kind of hard. So that's the basket that goes down. And I mean, it goes, uh, it goes pretty far, pretty deep. So that's pretty cool. back. I don't see any other little little compartments or anything else that's around there. But uh, um, basically just says, uh, when using, please avoid direct sunlight. Obviously, that's pretty pretty good advice. So if you're using this, like, let's say you're in a all climate weather, like Florida, and you're leaving this outside, uh, make sure that it's not in direct sunlight, because that will obviously affect the, the amount of performance on how this is going to uh, to make ice for you. But anyhow, uh, let me read through the directions for you 
<clears throat> and I'll find out what like some tips and tricks and shortcuts are, and then uh, then we go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. So a couple of quick things that I obviously read through and learned. Uh, this is your plug, your drain plug at the bottom, and you basically just kind of pull that out, and that will drain your unit. Uh, they recommend that every 24 hours um, that you you drain this out and you just basically kind of like rinse it and let it like air dry just to keep it like nice clean and sanitary. So air dry obviously you're going to be le leaving the lid off and let evaporation work. So you always want to keep like fresh clean water in there. So I have a measuring cup and I have, uh, what is this? It is four cups of water. So I'm just going to pour that into the reservoir. So believe it or not, I could not find anywhere where it said the maximum amount of water. Um, it basically just kind of gave you like, hey, fill it to this max line that from the top view you can see. So I poured 64 ounces in. So that's, that's about half the, uh, the reservoir. Uh, and this is going to be the cleaning cycle, so make sure that you run a cleaning cycle first. Uh, basically, just kind of like uh, I, I rinsed this out. I washed out the um, the ice bin and the the ice scoop. So I'm going to put this back in here. And but just make sure that you you obviously you clean it out and you run one complete cycle, like 64 ounces of water that I'm using. I'm running one cycle through this to make sure that it cleans. You know everything out. So basically, you are closing the lid on this. Let me get my measuring cup out of the way here. And then you have a couple different modes on the front here. So first button powers you on, and that's going to start like the ice cycle. Or if you hold it in for a couple seconds, it's going to start the uh, the cleaning cycle, which is basically 20 minutes. So it's going to basically work through uh, making ice, but it's going to go through a 20 minute cycle on that to do that so it's complete and then you know that the water's been through the system and it's completely clean and safe and ready to use. Um, and then other than that, if you put it into regular mode, you can basically set the time for up to 24 hours for this unit to run. So it's not going to be a uh, set it and forget it type device. Um, you're going to be basically putting it like uh, if you got a party or you got a picnic coming up. Uh, you fill it with water, um, you know, put it out on your uh, deck out of the sun, uh, put it on your kitchen counter, like in my area, I have like a, uh, like a candy bar, like soda fountain area. So I'm going to set this up for that. And uh, again, it is for you to make ice on demand. So it will take 10 minutes and it will start ejecting ice out through the top. So uh, I'm going to pause here and as soon as it starts making ice in it boasts 10 minutes. We'll, uh, we'll be right back. All right, so it's been about six, yeah, it's been about six minutes, and it's already starting to produce ice. It's not like a nice nuggets uh, quite yet, because it hasn't been like the full 10 minutes, but you can see from the top, oh, we got a good camera angle on that, and it has like a, this little rotating piece in there and it just kind of like goes around and it just starts pushing the ice out and down this little slide and you can tell how it's uh it's kind of filling up this this little hopper here but nice and it's pretty cool how it just like continually makes it as it's like running through its like its cleaning cycle so i mean that's really neat so we're going to let this run for probably about another three minutes or so get up to the full Full 10 minutes to see like how the uh, ice chunks are forming and uh, get a better idea of how this uh, how this works. So uh, stay tuned.
but um, so yeah, as it built up the the cold in here, um, it will retain a lot of the ice a lot more. That's why it's probably important to keep this shut so it can be efficient and it can produce the ice, let the ice build up, and then uh, obviously you open it as you use it, you get your scoop out, you know, and you add it to your drink. But I mean, it's I'm. Super impressed with it so far. I didn't think it was actually going to start making ice in 10 minutes. That's like, that's like crazy. But anyhow, let's just let this uh, hopper close for a while, and we'll see how much ice it actually produces. Uh, let's say in another 10 minutes, and we'll be we'll be okay. Right back. So this has been probably the, the full 10 minute cycle, and kind of give you a peek inside from uh, the top view. So, and this was the cleaning cycle. But you, I mean, you can tell you got quite a few cups of, uh, of ice here already. So, uh, absolutely impressed. And I love the fact too that it, like, it recycles. So if you turn this off, let's say you have uh, you're done with your like cocktail hour, and then you're gonna have another one like tomorrow night. Um, the ice would melt, start it up again, and it would start producing ice within like 10 minutes. So I mean, that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the end of the cleaning cycle. So we are actually going to start it and uh, put it right into the ice making cycle. And we're gonna add another 64 ounces of water just to kind of like show you how much ice it's gonna make. And then we'll just pour it right through here. I'm not trying to melt the ice, but we do our best. All right, so that is, basically you have a gallon of water in there. Oh, to give you a kind of an idea like that. Obviously, it's made some ice, but capacity-wise, you can see where we're, we're sitting at. So we're going to let that run for another 10 minutes and uh, see how much more ice that it produces. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is another 10-minute cycle, and to give you an idea of basically how much ice it produced, it actually produced quite a bit. So now you're getting good formed chunks. And like I said, it's obviously it's making them faster and faster as the uh, um, they will melt a little bit at the bottom because you have the you know the cooler water here. Actually, that tank feels pretty cool now. So as it's um, kind of like melting initially in that like first 10, 20, 30 minutes, um, it, you will get some ice that melts down in the bottom, but it makes this water cooler, and then it will make this a lot more efficient and a lot faster. Uh, and as you can tell from the different camera views that I was showing, I mean, it does make ice pretty, pretty regularly, frequently, and fast is like the, the most important thing. So uh, I set the timer for uh, basically three hours. Uh, my delusion is it's not going to have to run that long, but what it will do is it'll continually run, uh, continually making fresh ice uh, until all the temperatures stabilize. And like I said, I mean, it's cold. I mean, it's really cold here in the front, uh, as well as in the back, and then up here where it's making the ice. I mean, you can tell it, it's like definitely on the cold side. So, well, yeah, this is like uh, this is like my new favorite thing. I can't wait to actually mount it permanently over on the uh, on my candy bar. Uh, anyhow, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal with uh, your new countertop ice maker. Awesome. Anyway, uh, be safe out there. And to give you an idea, this is uh, this is after a full hour. Actually, it's an hour and 20 minutes minus the, uh, the demo and stuff. So it is still producing quite a bit of ice. And now let's pull this hopper out real quick. And you can see how much water is actually left there on the bottom. And I'll put that back. So, I mean, at max, it will fill this... Uh, this up quite a bit. And like I said, this is, this is a good amount of ice. And that is uh, after the complete cycle is done. So it makes a, a lot of ice. All right.